Good morning. Here I have come uh, with the same chapter. Flow, uh, flow of viscous fluid. Okay. Through circular pipe as well as through uh, flow in between to parallel plates. So this topic was dis uh, discussed. Just two days uh, back, this topic was discussed, and there uh, you have got uh, uh, what you have got there: velocity distribution, then maximum velocity, then average velocity, then ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity. Those things were discussed in my previous videos. Okay, and uh, today I have come with a new topic. Uh, Topic is number one, drop of pressure head for a given length. The flow is of course in between two parallel plates where both the plates are held fixed. This plate and this plate. This is the lower one, this is the upper one. Distance between them is T. Means distance of separation between the plates is small t. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. Okay. So for this case, uh, average velocity was obtained and the expression for average velocity was like this minus 1 by 12 mu where mu is coefficient of dynamic viscosity del p del x where p is pressure into t square means this t, square of this t okay so using this average velocity we are going to calculate the drop of pressure rate for a given length and also cr stress distribution okay for a given cross section so, for a given length, so let us consider, let us consider this section and this section. Say this is section number 1 and this is section number 2. From the origin, say this distance is x1 from the origin, okay? And from the same origin, this distance means uh, distance of section 2 this is x2 and the distance in between the sections section 1 and section 2 that is L I am showing here ok so of course you can see that L is equal to x2 minus x1 is everything visible yeah so L is equal to x2 minus x1 ok now uh, what we need to do is that uh, you take this expression and using this expression we can easily write in the next line that del p del x this is what this is minus 12 mu u bar divided by t square am I right? minus 12 mu u bar by t square this is del p del x therefore what is p? P is equal to nothing but integration of this expression minus 12 mu u bar divided by t square ok and uh, dx will appear here and uh, you do not integrate this way you integrate this way you write here dp put integration sign and then from cross section 2 to cross section 1 this is not the numerical value of pressure 2 and 1 these 2 and 1 are denoting cross section number 2 and cross section number 1. Okay. Here also the same thing in the right hand side. Okay. Now if you integrate, then you will get what? Integration of this will give you P. So P at cross section 1 minus P at cross section 2 denoted by P1 and P2. So in the left hand side we are getting P1 minus P2. And in the right hand side, this thing is constant. This mu u bar t square. These are constants. So we are getting here minus 12 mu u bar. This is u, okay? By t square into x1 minus x2. And you have seen here that x2 minus x1 is L. And here minus i is there. So this can be written as 12 mu u bar divided by t squared into L, this L, 
okay this L so this is what P1 minus P2 is equal to this much 12 mu u bar L by T square okay then what is the loss of pressure head that thing can be obtained by dividing this expression by rho g okay therefore loss of pressure head denoted by hf which is equal to p1 minus p2 divided by rho g p1 minus p2 divided by rho g so you divide this thing also by rho g so what you will get is 12 mu u bar l divided by rho g t square okay so this thing we have got here and this is the loss of pressure head for the given problem and the problem is what problem is flow of viscous fluid between two parallel plates where both the plates are held fixed okay these plates are parallel to each other and they are held fixed and for such case the loss of pressure head hf is equal to p1 minus p2 by rho g and that thing that pressure head can be calculated by using this formula 12 mu u bar l by rho g t square okay so this is all about point number one that is drop of pressure head for a given length and next we are going to calculate shear stress distribution okay by using what by using newton's law of viscosity by using Newton's law of viscosity, we can easily calculate shear stress distribution. And for that thing, I need to erase uh, this part. What is required? Expression for U is required. Okay. Expression for U is required to calculate shear stress distribution. Okay. And uh, what is the length of this video? Uh, already it has crossed seven minutes so I think it will be better if I do the same thing in the next video means I am going to show you the CL stress distribution okay CL stress distribution uh, for the given problem in the next video okay because uh, time in ho uh, hand is very short huh? okay I don't have much time to continue further so Please don't mind. In the next video, you will get CRS uh, distribution. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day to all of you.